Hi everybody, welcome to Curiosity Corner Live coming to you from the Great Lakes Science Center. We are closed for the health, safety, and wellness of you at home and our staff here, but that does not mean that the science has to stop. First of all, my name is Joy, and today I'm going to bring you some of my favorite elements from one of our big science shows, Fire and Ice, which includes some really cool stuff about how different chemicals burn. In this beaker, I have a chemical called methyl alcohol, so I'm gonna go ahead and light it on fire. Wow! Fascinating. Yeah, no, that's lame. Let's see if we can see that a little bit better. There we go. So methyl alcohol burns blue. But here's the thing, methyl alcohol is not the only chemical that burns in different colors. I happen to have here a salt, the most dangerous chemical known to man, sodium chloride. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's salt, it's table salt. And just because this is table salt that you can find in your house, please, do not try any of this at home. I am a trained professional. So we're gonna see what happens when I put this table salt in my beaker of methyl alcohol. Here we go. In three, two, one. Nice bright orange because that is what color sodium chloride burns. But I wanna see if different chemicals burn differently. So instead of sodium chloride, I have here some strontium chloride. Now, think at home, what color do you think this might be? I will give you a hint. They use a lot of strontium chloride in road flares. So if you've ever seen a road flare before, that might give you a little bit of a clue. So, here we go. In three, two, one. Ho oh, ho, nice, bright red. That's pretty darn awesome. Now, I have here, some lithium chloride. They use this in fireworks a lot. So see if you can make any guesses where you are about what color this might be. So, so far we've had orange, we've had red. Let's see what other colors we can get. Here we go. In three, two, one. Wow, that is awesome. This awesome bright pink. Now I do have one more salt. This is copper chloride. As you can see, this is green. So you might be thinking, well, obviously this is gonna be green, but think about it this way. All of these salts are white, but none of them made white flames. So we'll see what happens when we add some copper chloride. I will say, Statue of Liberty is made of copper. So that might be a big hint. So here we go. In three, two, one, bright green. Now, here's my thought. I have all of these different colors I want to put them all together, see what happens. I wonder if I'm gonna get brown, like when you get a lot of colors mixed together, maybe I'll make a rainbow, I don't know. So let's see, that is a lot of salt. Here we go, in three, two, one. Woo, nice rainbow flame. Now here's the thing about fire. I want to put the fire out so I can show you a different experiment, but fire needs a few main ingredients. It needs a spark. I can't exactly make the flame just go away. Poof, yeah, didn't work. It needs fuel. It'd be a really bad idea for me to just dump the methyl alcohol out. And it also needs oxygen. So in order to cut out this fire, I just need to cut off the air supply, and the fire slowly goes out. So that's one cool experiment, but I don't wanna just light chemicals on fire. Thank you, lights. I want to light something else on fire, because I have here, a beaker, magic, but I want to use it to light ice on fire. Now, I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, what, you can't light ice on fire, what is wrong with you? I'm gonna try, because I have brought my favorite ice cube in the whole wide world, and, and his friends, all of them, all of them, all of the friends. I just really like ice, okay? Ignore that, ignore the, the steam, it's fine, it's fine. You see nothing. All right, here we go. We're gonna light ice on fire. In three, two, one. Woo! Ice on fire. Now here's the thing. I didn't tell you everything. Before the show, I put a little something extra in the bottom of my beaker called calcium carbide. 
And when the ice started melting onto that calcium carbide, it started creating acetylene gas. And that gas is what caught on fire. Kind of like when the Cuyahoga River caught on fire years and years ago. Come on. It wasn't the, gas, the river that caught on fire. It was the gas itself. Now I'm gonna let that die down. There we go, I'm gonna let that die down for a bit. And if you notice, they're still popping in pockets of little flames. That's because we're finding pockets of acetylene gas that are just going up and igniting. So I hope you had a ton of fun with me right here at Fire and Ice. Make sure you check this YouTube channel for more Curiosity Corner Live all week long, every single day at 10.30. And as always, stay curious.